Hey, Jack Cooper team, I'm Lindley Davis. And I'm Lauren Canterbury. And welcome back to Let's Talk Jack. Before we get started, we wanted to remind you, if you haven't already, make sure you hit the subscribe button so you're notified when a new video is released. As always, thanks for watching. Now let's dive into the next episode. Welcome back to a very special episode of Let's Talk Jack. If you didn't know, Father's Day is June 19th, so we wanted to take this time to celebrate dads, especially the ones in the Jack Cooper family. Today we have a special Father's Day takeover episode, so without further ado, we are excited to introduce to you not one, but two multi-generational Jack Cooper families from Fairfax and Clay Como. So in one corner, ding, 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 have... Fairfax, our uh, our father son team, Roger Green, a retired Jack Cooper car hauler, and his son Marty Green, a current Jack Cooper car hauler. And in the other corner, ding ding ding, we have Clay Como, where we have Mark Berryman Sr., who is a car hauler for us, and his son Mark Berryman Jr., who is the yard superintendent. Mark, Mark, Marty, and Mark, and Roger. Welcome to the Great. show. I guys. love the dudes. So I'm going to start with the greens first. Roger, when did you start working at Jack Cooper? Uh, November, uh, I can't remember. I think it was November 28th, 1972. Oh, that's awesome. Okay. Uh, did you ever work at the terminal? So you worked at Fairfax, correct? Well, yeah, uh-huh. I, I spent about 19 years at the Leeds terminal and uh, almost 20 years at the Fairfax terminal. Awesome. Did you ever work there when Marty was working there as well? Uh, yes. Uh-huh. Okay. How was that? Did you give him any advice before his first day when he started? Well, everybody thought I taught him a lot, but I didn't. It, he, I guess it just come natural to him. Marty, you can't take all the credit for that, can you? <laughs> Did your dad teach you anything? Uh, he just taught me, you know, what to look for getting the dealers because when i started they didn't have cell phones so mm. oh gotcha. yeah gave me it he just gave me advice on how to find the dealers uh, when you come into a town and whatnot what made you decide to follow in his footsteps uh it wasn't really something i was looking to do but <laughs> i was kind of at a dead-end job and they they found a loophole in the contract that would train me uh awesome. so we like i went and gave it a shot and and then here it is 25 years later. Well, that's great. Well, thank you both for your time at Jack Cooper and all you do. We know you also have another brother who works in the yard. Uh, so what's the best thing about working with your family? Or is there a good thing about working with your family? Uh, gives us uh, gives us stuff to talk about. <laughs> <laughs> Talking about work at Thanksgiving dinner? Hopefully not. But <laughs> that's awesome. That's great. Well, in the other corner... Oh, ding, ding, ding. That's right. <laughs> Let's try that How again. Have the ding, ding, dings. We do. All right. In the other corner. Ding, ding, ding. The Berrymans. Mark Jr., as we said before, you are the yard superintendent at Claycomo. Since your father is also at Claycomo as a car hauler, does anyone confuse you for him? Hold my uh, Lord. <laughs> no, not necessarily confused. Um, I think we separate ourselves pretty well. I, I get refer, referred to as uh, Prince Berryman, Lord Berryman. So uh, I got some big shoes to fill. Uh, he's been here quite a long time. He's made a name for himself here. So I just try not to embarrass myself too bad. <laughs> well, growing up with your dad being in car hall, what lessons did you learn from him that you use in your role today? Like, Even uh, if that's how to boss people around. That's probably what he learned, how to boss people around. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's that's a lot of it. Uh, I, I'd say the biggest thing my dad ever taught me was was work, was work ethic, working hard every single day, showing up to work every single day, no matter what. Rain, shine, sick, it doesn't matter. You go to work and you work hard. You put your best foot forward every single day. That's good. Those are really good lessons. Good job, Mark Sr. Um, so to Mark Sr., uh, you have worn a lot of hats over the years at Jack Cooper, including car hauler, driver trainer, union steward. With all your knowledge, did you offer any advice when your son first started working for Jack Cooper? Cooper? <laughs> well, now that's a that's a touchy, touchy question because uh, we uh, we had an opening for dispatcher. And that's what uh, I had him apply for. Of course, he had been over at the plant working and um, 
he had been a supervisor over there, so he obviously knew his way around things. And uh, so they offered him a supervisor position. So, yeah, I guess you might say when he accepted the supervisor position, I did have some advice for him. I just told him, I said, son, there's not a lot I can do to help you. You're pretty much on your own. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> and you're just going to have to to find your way through it. Because uh, as you might know, he's a supervisor. I'm a teamster in uh, Union Stewart. So we kind of on two different sides here. But um, he's been, as far as I can tell, it was a kind of rough start. The, the yard over there can be a different bunch. And they weren't very accepting at first. But I think they've uh, come to realize that he's pretty fair. So it's, I think it's worked out okay. I do want to know one thing. Mark Sr., have you ever been corrected, disciplined, maybe? <laughs> Has Mark Jr. ever taken the opportunity to say, hey, Dad, you should probably do that differently or better? Well, it's it's funny you should ask that, Lindley, because just the other day he did stop by my truck as I was loading and said that he, he looked like those chains were a little loose. No. And I, and I advised him to just uh, grip the wheel and head on up the hill. <laughs> <laughs> well, we love that. I um, I thought maybe that might have happened. But uh, if it ever happens again, we'd like to know because we think that would be a really cool story to tell. So, <laughs> well, the reason we have you on the show today is not just to show our have our first family legacy guests on, but to celebrate Father's Day. So at Jack Cooper, we certainly have a lot of fathers, and we definitely want to recognize the importance of each and every one of you and the impact you have on your kids' lives. So, Marty, we're going to start with you. Can you tell us what is your dad's best quality? Uh, he's a hard worker. Has been all my life. Still is to this day at 74 almost years old. So that's I try to model my day after his. Hmm, that's awesome. What's one of your best memories with your dad? Um, I'd say working with him here. But we also go on a fishing trip every year. So we've been doing that for about 15 years, I think, 10, something like that. That's so a great those are fun. That's awesome. That's great. Mike, what about you? What is one of your dad's best qualities? It's got to be a car hauler trait. I'm telling you, working hard and loving his family. Um, he's always been a family man. He's been there for every single one of us. I don't know if you guys know, but I, I do have nine brothers and sisters, mm -hmm. uh, not all directly with my dad, but, um, he has literally been there for every single one of us in any tribe or tribulation. He's always been in there. Um, just like Marty, I've, I've always looked up to him and I've always tried to mirror my day after his, um, trying to be as hard as a worker as he is. That's, that's what we strive for every day. Mark senior, my hat, mean the tissue couple <laughs> coming, right? Oh, the, it's the air down here. Yeah, dusty. Also, yeah, I just it got raining, up a little bit ago. <laughs> but Mark Jr., what are some fun memories that you have with your dad? You know, I was, I was thinking about this last night, and there's always been one uh, memory that's always stuck out to me. I remember one time I was younger. I don't remember exactly how old I was, um, but he took me fishing, and we had a, a big blue. Um, like a plastic trash can that we were putting the fish in. And that day we caught 109 fish, bluegill, wow. perch, you name it. We caught them all. And then we cleaned them all afterwards. That was probably one of my favorite days. That's an amazing memory. Well, thank you for sharing. Um, you know, we can't let this opportunity go without getting some perspective from Mark Sr. and Roger. So, Roger, I want to go back a bit. Before you retired from Jack Cooper, before your boys were working here, did you ever find it challenging to be a working father in the transportation industry? Well, yeah, because I missed a lot of basketball, football, and baseball games. Hmm. Yeah. And Mark, would you agree? Do you find it challenging to be a working father in the industry? Oh, uh, definitely challenging. But unlike Marty, uh, I did not miss anything. I um, I was fortunate enough to hire on at a good time. Um, I worked nights on some 
occasions, but for the most part, I was able to be uh, on the city board on the daytime side. I had six kids that, um, like Mark said, he has nine brothers and sisters. Well, six of them are from my home, and uh, they all did something uh, sports-wise, and I coached every one of them in something, so I was pretty fortunate. What a blessing to be able to be there for everything. That's great. But we know Roger, Mark, Marty, and other Mark, <laughs> uh, you guys are all fathers yourselves, and we're thankful for the work that you do at Jack Cooper. Being in the industry, depending on where you're at and what you're doing, um, there are many employees that part of their job requires them to be away from home. Um, and so there might be some missed dinners, baseball, basketball games, like you said, Roger, or just the everyday life. But the sacrifice you make in order to provide for your family should be recognized and celebrated. So thank you again. Before we go, we cannot skip out on the best segment of the show. I think you guys are going to do the best yet. But Lauren, would you tell them about the lightning round? Because I don't know if they know about it. Sure, Lindley. Um, so specifically to Roger, if you haven't heard, um, the lightning round is um, just a fun little round that we do at the end of every podcast. All we, all we do is ask um, just a question and all you need to do is answer with the first thing that comes to your mind. Okay. Sounds fun. Okay. Boy, all right. I'm so just going to warn you girls in advance that this might be dangerous. It is. <laughs> it is going to be dangerous. <laughs> Roger, what has been your most memorable Father's Day gift? Oh, oh I don't know. They, they, they all usually give me tools. Oh, that's and, a good one. And they say they're not going to buy me any more tools because <laughs> I got all of them. But I always tell them that I get you all what you want for Christmas. <laughs> and this, then that's what I want. Our tools. That's <laughs> awesome. Marty, he wants some more tools for Father's Day. <laughs> That's awesome. All right, Mark Jr., what are you currently binge watching? Um, the Lincoln Lawyer on oh, Netflix. Oh, I already binge that. It's so good. It's pretty good. You it's like it? Good. I do. You you should should it's not as good watch. as the, the movie, but it's, it's pretty good. That's true. Very true. Good answer. Marty, what is one meal you could eat for the rest of your life? Oh. <laughs> Um, Polish sausage. Yeah, Polish sausage, um, <laughs> fish, steaks, stuff I'm proud of. One thing, one <laughs> thing. One thing. I like how your mom answered for you. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'd say it was probably Polish sausage. Awesome. Thanks for the help, mom. We appreciate you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh. All right. I think, I guess, should I call you Lord Berryman and Prince Berryman? So, Mark Sr., the top Berryman. Uh, What's your favorite thing to do outside of work? Oh, boy, this is uh, this is challenging. <laughs> if you guys didn't know, I just bought a farm in Lathrop about oh, three, four months ago, 30 okay. acres and a barn dominium. So my awesome. new favorite thing is uh, going out there and, and just working the ground and stuff like that, trying to get it ready. But um, I would say before I bought the farm, it's just getting my family together, uh, dinners and, you know, just uh, holiday stuff. That's, it's probably my favorite thing. Mm -hmm. We had a pool over at, uh, the, the house that all the kids grew up in and 4th <laughs> of July was 4th of July was the best time ever because oh, we awesome. blew some stuff up and we always had a pool to jump in when we caught on fire. <laughs> <laughs> and it has happened. <laughs> That's not a joke. <laughs> well, we always want to advocate fire safety, so glad there's a pool there. <laughs> That's awesome. All right, Mark Jr., what's your dream car? Oh, probably a, a 69 <coughs> Mustang. Classic. Fastback, I'd say. All right. Fully restored. Cherry red. Tan oh. interior. It keeps so going. Well, you really got this thing dialed in, don't okay. you? I do. Tell us when you're done. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds beautiful. <laughs> and Marty, if you could travel anywhere in the world for free, where would you go first? Oh, probably one of those islands that you can uh, stay out in the water, you know, on the little huts. I I don't know any of the cities or any of that name, but like a screensaver, that's where I'd want to go. 
That's awesome. I love that. It's screensaver. <laughs> Me too. I want to go to a screensaver. Hey, Lindley, before we go, or before we do the last lightning round question, who do you think is winning the Fairfax Clay Como battle? I, I have to pick one over the other, like Clay Como or Fairfax? Oh, that's really hard to do. I think, honestly, it really should be a father-son battle, and I think maybe the dads are winning. Maybe we should do it that way. But if I had to pick a terminal, I would say Fairfax. They're they're coming in strong. Mm. What do you think? What do you think? Lindley, I thought we were friends. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I was kind of leaning towards Clay Como. Oh no! How surprising! I got a new. I got a new friend, Lindley. Hi, Lauren. Uh-oh. Good luck, Lauren. He's a lot. <laughs> I'm just kidding. All of okay. That's no, we we're, we're good. Okay. So all the last one is for everybody. And this is going to help kind of, you know, to settle the score on the, on the terminal fight. So um, what's your favorite sports team? Roger, we'll start with you. Oh, the chiefs by far. Chiefs. I feel like that might be a consistent answer, Lauren, across the board. All right. Mark senior. What about you? Favorite sports team? Uh, yeah, I'm going to have to say the same. It's for Chief. Okay. All right, Mark Jr., what about you? How about them Chiefs? No. Oh, Marty, are you going to break the chain? Who's your favorite sports team? I really, really love the Royals. Oh. I do love the Chiefs, though. You went baseball, and you went against the Braves. So, oh, right. I might be leaning towards Clay Como now. Woo, that wasn't, I don't know. That was good, though. What do you think? That was best lightning round yet, Lauren, maybe? I, I think so. I, I do. This this was the best lightning round we've done yet. So, no, but really, you guys, it's been so great getting to speak to, to all of you today and to get to know you more. Um, and so thank you for joining us and helping us celebrate uh, Father's Day here at Jack Cooper. So thank you, everyone. Happy Father's Day. Happy Father's thank Day. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.